What is going on, my stock market bulls and bears and meta millionaires? I am your host, Terry, and welcome to my channel, baby. By the dip. All right, guys, got some interesting news out about this potential price target of MMAT slash meta materials. Now, we're going to go over this whole article, so it's going to be a little bit of kind of covering this article, but I want to give you the whole article and not just the I guess the glamorous part of it. I'm going to give you the good with the bad. I want to do the due diligence on the whole article and we're going to go over what they have to say. Now, I do find it kind of weird that they give a, a crazy wide range of a price target and it makes it seem like they're kind of bullish on the stock. But then as you scroll down to the second half of it, it makes it seem like they're kind of bearish on the stock. So we're going to cover this whole article and go over the good with the bad. I'm going to give it to you straightforward, just like the company uh, has it in their article so hope you are ready for today's video if you are smash the thumbs up check the links down below i got that weeble link down below guys uh if you don't have weeble uh download that link uh open up your brokerage account deposit a hundred dollars get yourself some free stocks it gives me some free stocks give you some free stocks and we all win everyone gets some free money so let's get to the video all right guys so there is a post here on reddit we need to go over and it is positive vibes and that's what we're going to cover here in the first part of this video is the positive part of this article. Um, but it was a little lengthy article, so I can understand why the gentleman did not post the whole article. But let's go ahead and cover the good part of this article here and see what they have to say. Meta material here, stock price down 4.22% on Friday. This was updated July the 16th. The Meta Material Exchange Co. Inc. stock price fell by 4.22% on the last day. Friday of July the 16th uh, from 379 to 363 and has now fallen three days in a row. During the stock fluctuated 8.33 from a day low of 3.60 to a day high of 3.90. The stock has fallen seven of the last 10 days and is down over 50.21% for this period in 10 days. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day of trading, the volume fell by negative 8 million shares in a total. 12 million shares were bought and sold for approximately 45.36 million. Here's the part of this article where they give this wide range of a price range. This is, like I said, this is just crazy. I don't understand how you can give this a price target. But anyway, given the current short-term trend, the stock is expected to rise 28.24% during the next three months. And with a 90% probability, hold a price between 466 and 2718 at the end of this three month period. Wow. Now we all would be happy if this would go up to $27. I think we'd all be happy if this would even just go to $10 or even $9 at the current price because if you're buying at 363, which is the current price right now, um, I think we all would be a little happy on that. I'm hoping to pick up some shares tomorrow as well on this. So yeah, I mean, even if it goes to 466, we're, we're gaining money, guys. We're not losing. But to give that big of a price swing, you're talking like, what was that? Like 500% difference between the 466 and the $27 them is five, 600% uh, difference in the gains. So that is a huge, huge difference. But I think if this even got back 10, 12, $15, people will be pretty happy overall because um, we've got the dividend coming as well. Now, people comment down below. I'm not going to get in there, but people was commenting, why didn't you post the other half of the article? So we are going to cover the other half of the article. And here it is. It is on the website. Um, stockinvest.us slash stock slash MMAT. I'll try to put this down maybe in the pinned comments of this video so that way you can click in and read it as well. But we're going to go over it together in this video. We're going to take the time and go over it. Here they do have a chart of them showing their lines and their due diligence. You can get on here and check it out. I'll have the link down in the pinned comments. Showing here we had a high of 1984 at the reverse split and boom we are down here to 366. Well, 363, sorry. So here is the first part of this article. Right here, as you see, this is what we covered in that first part right there, where it ended here of the stock price between 466 and 2718. 
So here we got signals and forecast. There are a few to no technical positive signals at the movement. The Meta Material Exchange Co. Inc. stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages, giving more negative forecasts for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there would be some resistance between the lines of $4.30 and $7.38. A break above any of these levels will issue buy signals. A sell signal uh, was issued from a pivot point on Monday, June 21st, and has so far it has fallen 81.7%. Further fall indicates until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a currently a sell signal from the three month moving average convergence uh, divergence, the MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and reduces the overall risk and volume should follow the price movement. They also go on here to talk about support, risk, and stop loss. Meta materials find support accumulated from the volume at 358, and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upward reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move very much during the day, highly volatile, and very large prediction interval from the Bollinger brand, which is a stock to be very high risk. During the day, the stock moved 30%, high and low or 8.33%. For the last week, the stock had a daily average volatility of 20.4%. Uh, here they have metamaterials oversold on the RSI 14. Some stocks may fall long and hard while being oversold on the RSI. But stocks are heavily oversold on the RSI, often pose good rebounds chance and play it well can be a buy candidate. Here's what they give, our recommended stop loss. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock. No stop loss is set. Is Metamaterial stock a buy? The Metamaterial stock holds several negative singles despite the positive trend. We believe Metamaterials will perform weekly through the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of the stock. Their current score is negative 1.994%, and that was for the price opening, they believe, um, tomorrow. The fair opening price will be $3.71. The current price is $3.63, and they're saying currently it is undervalued by about 7%. So there it is, guys. That is the article. I wanted to go over the good and the bad of that article because I don't want you to just think this has a chance of just going up to, you know, 20 some dollars. This thing could go, it could stay where it's at, it could dip more, it could shoot up to the moon. Now we're all hoping, including me, that this thing goes up. But I just wanted to clear up this article and clear up the whole part of it in case you saw just this part, but not covered kind of the negative part they put down at the end. So like I said, the article is a little confusing because they do say they're kind of, if the price is 363 and they're saying it's gonna be between like four something and 27, I think that gives a bullish signal. How are you gonna say the stock is, is a, a, a negative rating at the end of that? It doesn't make any sense. We know the stock is volatile. We know that, but I'm just confused on the whole article in a sense, I'm not gonna lie. There was some key points in there I do agree with, but if you're gonna give a stock a buy rating that's higher than the current price, that means you're bullish on the stock. I mean, it, you know, it just doesn't make sense. So comment down below. What do you guys think about this article? Um, do you think it has any merit? Do you think it's going to be some... I mean, I could say that too. This stock's in anywhere between $3 and $100. And you can call me a genius and, you know, someone as well. So this doesn't seem like it's any kind of um, analyst rating in a sense where we want analysts to rate the stock. It just came out of reverse merger. It has a lot of stuff to prove for any analyst is even going to look at this stock but that is what they gave on it so i'm just curious what you guys had to say about it as well so guys i will catch y'all in the next one remember to buy the dip baby let's go